Hello everyone and welcome to a video I am particularly excited about. It is the Final Fantasy and Uniqlo collaboration. And I've managed to get the very limited edition box that has every single one of the shirts in it. There is a shirt for each Final Fantasy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and the unreleased 16 as well. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, 8 being my favorite, the first one I've played through properly. I 7, 8, 9, 10, I've played a lot of 14. I love my Final Fantasy, so I'm very happy to have been able to get the box. Sold out really quickly. We're gonna open it up, have a look what's inside, and there are a few extra things, well, well particularly card packs. Before that, I ordered something else from Uniqlo and it came in this cool box. You've got some chocobos in the middle. This is only, these boxes are only being shown for a limited time. You, if you want to try the Final Fantasy XIV uh, free trial out, there's QR code there. It is the 35th anniversary of Final Fantasy. 35th. Crazy. Hope for another 35 years. Hope 16 is going to be good. Uh, I really hope that. And you've got all of the characters. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see 7, 8. It might be hard to pick up on the camera, but it, it's really cool how it's printed on in dots. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm wearing Final Fantasy characters on my head. 10. You can see 11 hidden behind there. 12, 13, 14, 15. And the unreleased. 16. So we're not going to open this up. This is something else. But while I'm opening this, I'm very happy I got it. Uh, I ordered online and it sold out pretty soon afterwards. There's nothing right now. It's a day later. So as of taking this video, uh, I believe, yes, it was, it was open for order yesterday and it's come today, which is great. And I can't wait. As you can see, I'm struggling with the box. Well, as you can hear, I'm struggling with the box. I have not opened it, and I can't wait. Let's have a look at this design. Really stands out. I actually quite like the UT Uniqlo writing at the bottom. Adds a bit of color, as you can see. Not many colors. Got blue, white, the gold, the black. I mean, I, I, I like it. I like the design. Really stands out. I have to find some kind of use for this box. I can't throw this away. And as you can see, faintly written in the background, all the different Final Fantasies. Five, ten, to name a few. No other designs on other sides of the box, except for the top. Really striking, as you can see here. Let's open it up and have a look. We can see two packs of cards. If you order two items or more in a single order, you have a chance, when it's an online order, you have a chance of getting, I believe, this pack on the left. And this golden pack on the right is exclusive to this box. Uh, if you do manage to get this box, you get both automatically. It's not based on a chance. Great to see them here. Right. I've laid these all out. In terms of suit along the top. And I was just smiling laying them out. But just, the designs are so vivid, beautiful, loads of different art styles from across the ages. I'm, you know, you can keep them in the pack as a collectible, but look at this. So cool. So nice. I believe the kings all line up to make a bit of art. We'll do that at the end. Let's continue on. We've got six. We've got seven. Look at this card. Look at this card. How cool is that? I wonder if there's a method to the madness in terms of numbering. Or if it's completely order, uh, completely random. Well, we've got seven there. And eight there. But not all the eights are like that. So who knows. But Man. Nine, we've got six. Ah, oh, squad, we've got the shirt. And that again. Bringing it on to Final Fantasy Nine. 
Yeah, like, oh man. 10, oh look at that famous scene. 11, I remember I had the game in this box art. Look at this. Loads of different art styles. 9, VV, come on buddy. 10, more 11, more 12. Bit of 9, oh come on, that's sad. How can, how can you not tear up at that scene? All the shirt designs seem to be here. At least most of them. Maybe all of them. Oh, look at that. Come on, you want to play that card. Got 15, 16. And this might be the only 16 card. And if it is, great. Look at that. Represent. Representing 16 well. We've seen this art a lot. Oh, actually, yeah, I didn't notice this. Yeah, another, another 16. Signs of the dawn of the shirts. Man. Look at all of these. Yeah, okay, a third 16. And... Jokers. How great is that? How great is that? I'm really liking this chocobo over here. Let's bring the kings together, see what they're about. It is kind of repeating. You gotta go under them a little bit, like like this. It's a bit hard to do, but I think you can, I think you get the idea if uh, if you overlap them a little bit. They do create a nice bit of art there. Could be lined up a bit nicer, but you can see what it's all about. The cards. Amazing. One of the best parts of this whole uh, box set. The complete set. And here are the shirts. I've been a bit cheeky. I really wanted to have a look at 8 and 16. So they have been opened. And I'll talk about them a little bit more later. Both those designs really striked out to me. And we have 16 shirts here in order. From top left to bottom right, 1 to 16. Let's have a look at them. Look at all of these Final Fantasy shirts. 16 of them to be precise. Let's go around and have a look in order. Final Fantasy 1. A lot of these shirts designs, as you can see, uh, some of them have a big design at the front, but it's quite popular to have a small design on the front and a bigger one on the back. I will leave a link in the comments to the Uniqlo website. I will not open all of them, but you'll be able to see the kind of designs on each one. Anyway, going back, all of them with a 35th anniversary tag on top. Final Fantasy 1. I don't think I see any Japanese text on any of these. Final Fantasy 2. Please forgive me for the glare. Final Fantasy 3, 1990. We have four, we have five, some cute chocobos. I have played little five, a little bit of five, but not much from one to five, to be honest. I have played six. Look what we got here on top of that. And here's what a lot of people uh, get into, myself included, the seven, eight, nine. Final Fantasy seven. Lots of images, some keywords, Mako, Holy, Genova. I wonder what the next uh, Final Fantasy Remake installment will be like. Final Fantasy VIII, I will go over this in more detail shortly. I really like the design on the back. Balam Garden. Great stuff. Final Fantasy IX. Here we go. Playing through this again at the moment, enjoying it on the Switch when it decides not to crash. Final Fantasy X. Let me move this out of the way. The Titus symbol there, and it's got a nice design on the back. And Final Fantasy XI. So many memories with this. I haven't played it as extensively as fourteen. However, it's great to see it here in the lineup. <laughs> Maybe my first MMO. Really enjoyed it. Final Fantasy XII, they've gone with the judges! How cool is that? Like, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought it, I wouldn't have guessed uh, this would have been on the front, but really happy they went with it. 
And Final Fantasy 13. I can't comment too much on this. I have tried to play it a few times. Not my type of Final Fantasy. However, it is here in the lineup. What is my type of Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy 14. I've played this a bunch up until the end game. Currently, if I flipped it just to see the underside, you can see a few more of the scions there. Very cool. This one sold out quite quickly. Uh, I, even though I've purchased the box, I had a quick look at some of the shirts on the app to buy individually. And this one sold out in pretty much all sizes pretty quickly. So, stands to show for its current popularity. And hopefully many more years. And Final Fantasy XV. I'm going to say it. I don't think it was that bad. I understand people's gripes with it. Uh, personally, I felt the ending... The end section of the game should have been spun out more, should have been longer. They had lots of potential there. However, I don't think it was that bad of an experience overall. I feel like the engine and the system would have been, or, or perhaps is, a, a springboard to Final Fantasy XVI. I, didn't, I did quite enjoy the combat, but I understand people's gripes with it. Final Fantasy XVI. Kind of a squall-looking character, a little bit. You can get, uh, get the similar vibes from him. I think it's a very baller move to release a shirt for a game that's not even out yet. And this is definitely a design I like. And I'm going to talk about this and 8 a little bit more. Here we go. All the shirts. Here we have Final Fantasy 8 and 16. Two designs I really like. I'm going to show it off in a little bit more detail. Here we have Final Fantasy 8. As you can see in the text, a member of an elite military team is forced into a conflict beyond imagination. And a little bit of a description of Balam Garden and Squall. He's a lone wolf, cold and withdrawn from others. I, I really like 8. I love the story. It was my first one. I think the graphics are still good to this day. Of course, you know, you can see some, uh, a bit of a difference between difference between characters and scenery however i really enjoy the game i hope it gets a remake one day i don't think it's top of the list for square enix uh, there are rumors of final fantasy 9 that would be great to see as well let's have a look at the back now here is where i think this shirt really shines this is the back solid what else can i say i really like the backdrop being black i like the choice of image Love the main character, really like Zell as well for those who know. But this this image made me really want to get this shirt. And uh, similar text on the back. But look at that, it's really a great impact. And a shirt I hope to wear many times. Let's move on to 16. And here we have Final Fantasy 16. 16 doesn't care, gives a strong impact right off the bat. It has kind of a... The main character looks a little bit like an older Squall, kind of uh, Squall vibe. I really like it. Even though the game's not out yet, I really like the design. And therefore wanted to bust it out and wear it. The text, Final Fantasy XVI, The legacy of the crystals has shaped our history for long enough. I like that. Everything's about the crystals, saving the crystals, gathering the crystals. But this guy's like, no, enough. Can't wait to see where they take the story in this. Let's look at the back. First impressions might have you thinking, this is nothing much. However, on further inspection, we have this symbol here. Looks like a sword of some kind. Who knows what it's about, but a nice little touch. And that's Final Fantasy 16. As you can all see, I couldn't wait. Here's the Final Fantasy. Eight shirt, Balam Garden, Uniqlo M, can't forget the M, and the eight design, Squall on the back. Really digging this design. I like it. I like this shirt a lot. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Big Final Fantasy fan. Really happy to have my hands on this. Happy to one day play with the cards. Who knows when that will be? And yeah, 35 years. Can you believe it? Let's hope 16 continues 
to bring uh, great games, great stories into our lives. And yeah, hopefully another 35 years. Final Fantasy 32, that's what we're waiting for. Thank you all very much for watching this unboxing. And see you all next time. <laughs> Drink of the day. Let's begin. <laughs>